my YouTube fam. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to continue along the science portion review of the ATITs and start discussing macromolecules. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and better yet, hit that bell notification. It lets you know when I post new content here on YouTube. And give this video a big thumbs up. That way other people are looking for the ATIT's review videos know that this is a good video to help you pass it like a boss. Questions related to macromolecules will test your familiarity with the four types of macromolecules. As the applicant, you will need to demonstrate understanding of how proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids function. Let's get started understanding how macromolecules are important on the ATITs. To begin, we have to understand what macromolecules are. Macromolecules are very large molecules. Most are formed when organic molecules, also known as monomers, combine with covalent bonds during dehydration reactions to form biological polymers. Most of the macromolecules are groups of the same monomers or similar monomers linked together over and over again. There are four types of macromolecules, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. These molecules are food groups needed by the body and can be broken down by hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is the chemical breakdown of a compound due to the reaction with water. This happens during digestion for use of the body's cells. Proteins are long chains of amino acid monomers. The long chains are called polypeptides and they sometimes fold over to form three-dimensional shapes. Different shapes have different functions. Of the 20 primary amino acids, only 11 of these can be produced by the body itself. The remaining nine must be obtained through the diet. These nine amino acids are known as the essential amino acids. They can be found in protein sources such as meat, eggs, fish, and some plant sources. Enzymes are a vital class of proteins that catalyze chemical reactions. Without enzymes, life would not exist. They are essential for biosynthesis and perform many functions in the digestive system. There are two types of enzymes, catabolic enzymes, which break down their substrates, and anabolic enzymes, which use their substrates to build more complex molecules. Hormones are another class of proteins with which you should be familiar. Hormones are signaling molecules produced by glands in the endocrine system. They are transported by the circulatory system to organs throughout the body to regulate physiology and behavior. Proteins have many vital functions within the body, such as catalyzing chemical reactions, synthesizing and repairing DNA, providing structural support, transporting materials across the cell, responding to stimuli, and sending and receiving chemical signals. Moving on to carbohydrates. Carbohydrate molecules form with a ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen. That's one to two to one. They can be classified into three subtypes. Monosaccharides is a simple sugar with only three to seven carbon atoms. That's your glucose, your fructose, and your galactulose. Disaccharide forms with two monosaccharide bonds. That's your sucrose, your lactose, and your maltose. Lastly, your polysaccharide is a long chain of monosaccharides. That's your glycogen, your cellulose, and your starch. Carbohydrates are the body's source of quick fuel because they break down faster in the body than proteins and fats. Carbohydrates convert to sugar or glucose, which is a ready source of fuel. Simple carbohydrates, such as cane sugar, breaks down fastest when consumed. Complex carbohydrates, such as grains and starchy vegetables, break down more slowly than simple carbohydrates and turn into sugar less quickly in the bloodstream. Fiber is a component found in carbohydrates that cannot be digested by the body. Because it does not break down into glucose, fiber adds bulk to the diet and improves the process of transporting food through the digestive system. Adequate fiber intake is also helpful for controlling blood sugar levels. While some carbohydrates perform energy storage functions, other carbohydrates perform structural functions. The polysaccharide cellulose performs an important function in plant cells. The rigid cell wall is made up of cellulose. Another polysaccharide, 
chitin, performs an important function of anthropods. It forms the exoskeleton to protect their internal organs. Other carbohydrates, such as glycoproteins, have recognition functions. Lipids are macromolecules that contain hydrocarbons. They are highly reduced forms of carbon, and when they are metabolized, lipids are oxidized to release large amounts of energy. Some examples of lipids include fats, oils, waxes, sterols, fat-soluble vitamins, monoglycerides, diglycerides, triglycerides, and phospholipids. Lipids are an efficient source of fuel for the body. Once digested, they break down into fatty acids and glycerol. Fats take longer to digest than either protein or carbohydrates, so they can provide the body with sustained energy. Saturated fats are derived mainly from animal sources and tend to raise cholesterol and increase risk of heart attacks and strokes. Unsaturated fats are derived from certain vegetables, fish, and nuts. These fats can lower cholesterol levels, particularly monosaturated fats, such as those found in avocados and olive oil. Lipids also have signaling functions and act as a major structural component to cell membranes. Lastly, we're going to be discussing our nucleic acids. Nucleic acids include deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, or ribonucleic acid, RNA. DNA is a polymer made up of a long string of repeated units called nucleotides. Nearly all DNA molecules consist of two biopolymer strands that are coiled together, each to form a double helix shape. As you probably know, DNA stores biological information and is the hereditary material of all living things. RNA is also a chain of nucleotides, but it forms in a single strand folded onto itself rather than a double strand like DNA. RNA is mostly involved in protein synthesis. A type of RNA, known as messenger RNA, carries copies of genetic information to ribosomes, where catalytic ribosomal RNA molecules and transfer RNA molecules coordinate to make a functional protein. Nucleic acids carry out several cellular processes. They are especially involved in the regulation and expression of genes. I hope that this video has helped for you to pass your ATITs like a boss the first time. If you haven't done so already, I want to invite you over to my website at www.nursechung.com. There, there's additional resources for you to help you pass this exam. We've got practice questions as well as PDFs of the PowerPoints that I show in these videos. If you haven't done so, make sure that you follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye!